A Place in the World Spanish, un lugar en el mundo is a 1992 Argentine drama film co-written, co-produced and directed by Adolfo Aristiran. It stars José Sacristón, Federico Lupi, Leonor Benedetto and Cecilia Roth. The drama won numerous awards and was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film, but was declared ineligible and removed from the final ballot because it had been submitted by Uruguay, which had exercised insufficient artistic control over the film. It is the only film so far to have been disqualified from the foreign language film category after having secured a nomination. Topic Synopsis The story is set in 1974, following the death of Argentine President Juan Perón. While they live their lives, the characters argue about the country's most controversial subjects at the time, religion, politics, and human rights. Topic Cast Jose Sacristón as Hans Federico Lupi as Mario Leonor Benedetto as Nelda Cecilia Roth as Anna Rodolfo Rani as Andrada Hugo Arana as Zamora Gaston Bacci as Ernesto Lorena del Rio as Luciana Mario Alacon as Juan Critical reception Critic Mick LaSalle, film critic for the San Francisco Chronicle, liked the film and wrote, "...a place in the world is a sensitive, beautifully made coming-of-age story, set against a backdrop of Argentine politics played out on a local scale." Featuring a cast of strong characters, all driven by their deepest beliefs and passions, this is that rare case of a film that's not just lovely, it's lively, too." Film critic James Berardinelli wrote, The acting is uniformly strong, with all the principal and secondary performers delivering believable portrayals. Celia Roth is especially worthy of mention for the emotion she projects through her eyes. She and Federico Lupi are perfectly matched. A Place in the World offers a frank, somewhat unusual view of the relationships that form families and communities. Although the film has a lot more meat to chew on than that, the issues presented by A Place in the World would not generate the same degree of interest without the characters who argue about and live them. It's hard to deny the effectiveness of this marriage between personalities and ideology where neither eclipses the other. Topic: Oscar controversy. A Place in the World, which was registered for the Golden Globes as an entry from Argentina alone, was originally submitted in the fall of 1992 to Argentina's Oscar Selection Committee as a possible contender. However, the committee chose by one vote to submit The Dark Side of the Heart instead. A Place in the World's director Adolfo Aristiran then asked Antonio Mercader, Uruguay's Minister of Education and Culture, to submit the film as a Uruguayan entry. After the minister refused, Aristiran took the matter to Manuel Martinez Carroll, director of the Cinematheque of Uruguay, who agreed to sponsor the film for submission to the Academy's Foreign Language Film Committee. When the nominations were announced by the Academy on February 17, 1993, A Place in the World was initially included among the five nominees, and was presented as a Uruguayan submission. However, a week later, the Academy launched an investigation after it was revealed that the film was almost entirely Argentine with minimal input from Uruguayan artists. It was disqualified three days later, with the Academy saying it was essentially an Argentine production and that this violated the Academy's rules which require that there be "...substantial filmmaking input from the country that submits the film." There have only been a small number of times in the Academy's history that a film was disqualified after being nominated. One previous case was that of the documentary Young Americans 1967, which had won the Academy Award for Documentary Feature but was later ruled ineligible after it was revealed that it had opened theatrically prior to the Academy's eligibility period. 
The disqualification of a place in the world was all the more unusual as the Academy decided not to replace it with another film, leaving only four films in competition. Aristiran, who argued that the film was an international co production between Uruguay and Argentina, contested the Academy's decision and filed suit in the United States District Court for the Central District of California on March 4. Aristiran cited the precedent set by Black and White in Color 1976, Le Bal 1983, and Dangerous Moves 1984, all of which were French productions but which were submitted, respectively, by Ivory Coast, Algeria and Switzerland. After the judge determined that, while Academy procedures may have been lax, the organization had essentially followed its rules, Aristiran decided not to take the case to appeal, as ballots were already being mailed to voters and the awards ceremony was about to take place. Because of the controversy surrounding a place in the world's disqualification, the Academy adopted in the summer of 1993 new guidelines aimed at clarifying its eligibility rules for the foreign language film category, and especially at making more specific the role played by each crew member. It is also worth mentioning that in its November 2001 press release listing the foreign language submissions to the 74th Academy Awards, the Academy announced that a film from Uruguay in this tricky life had qualified this year for the first time, thereby omitting any mention of a place in the world. <laughs> awards. Wins San Sebastian Film Festival, Golden Seashell, Adolfo Aristiran, OCIC Award, Adolfo Aristiran, 1992. Nantes Three Continents Festival, Audience Award, Adolfo Aristiran, 1992. Goya Awards, Best Foreign Film in Spanish Language, 1993. Argentine Film Critics Association Awards, Silver Condor, Best Actor, Federico Lupi, Best Actress, Cecilia Roth, Best Director, Adolfo Aristiran, Best Film, Best Music, Emilio Caudera, Best New Actor, Gaston Bacci, Best Original Screenplay, Adolfo Aristiran, Alberto Lecchi, and Kathy Saavedra, Best Supporting Actor, José Sacristón, 1993. Freeburg International Film Festival, Audience Award, Adolfo Aristiran, 1993. Gramado Film Festival, Golden Kikito, Best Latin Film, Adolfo Aristiran, 1993. Ondas Awards, Film Award, Best Director, Adolfo Aristiran, 1993. See also List of submissions to the 65th Academy Awards for Best Foreign Language Film List of Uruguayan submissions for the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film <laughs>